Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do a quick love read. I'm going to pull three cards for love. And what are the love messages from May 2018 for Scorpio? I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera, but we'll give the cards a quick shuffle and then we'll get started. I hope that everyone is having a really good May. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Check out my new website. We'll talk about that after. All right. Eight of Pentacles. Some of you working on yourself, working on your craft, getting better at whatever it is you do, putting the hard work in. Nine of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Bottom of the deck, Seven of Cups. Oh, wow. It just progresses. Um, yeah, I knew this. Okay. So, Scorpio. Wow. Okay. Reads like a book. Um, some of you just putting work in. Doing a lot of work. Trying to stay focused on work. Doing a lot of stuff. Trying to stay busy. I'm hearing. You've got yourself to the Nine of Pentacles. Your money is where it needs to be. For, for whomever or whatever type of Scorpio, Scorpio you are. Your money is is good some of you are contemplating singlehood for some of you you're attached either by marriage or just long-term relationship you're contemplating singlehood or you're acting single even though you've been with someone for a number of years even though you feel like you're with your soulmate the situation the relationship may involve children but you're confused about do you stay or do you go you also could be an unfaithful spouse or have an unfaithful spouse Scorpio and you could be dealing with someone who gives promises just to break them broken promises here with the seven of cups someone who has a lot of choices who has a lot of choices because they put themselves in a place to have a lot of choices they're juggling either you Scorpio or the other person Capricorn Virgo Taurus someone is getting more attention than you Scorpio or vice versa it could be third party or you could just be longing for a reunion mm -hmm. with maybe another person you could even be having rapid communication things moving forward about maybe the trouble in your relationship due to jealousy and greed uh, you you could be talking with someone who you want to have reunion with or you have already had reunion with or someone that who you really like who really love about the trouble at home about what you've already established with this person someone you Scorpio or the other person could be going could be grieving the fact that they aren't the only person involved here Someone's trying to be like the magician and just manifest whatever it is they want for themselves. But there could there is conflict and inner conflict about what was already established. Could be an engagement, large purchase, home. A baby. Some of you can be dealing with a fire sign. We got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Virgo here, Sagittarius. Some of you trying to go within and try to figure this out spiritually, you even getting spiritual guidance outside of yourself. You're also looking at the past, what you did in the past. You're trying to find balance by way of spirit. Spirit is trying to bring you balance too. Either you or someone else is contemplating walking away from you, just laying down the burden that is this relationship. Because they want to invest somewhere else. They've been through too much with you. And they need to make a decision. Do they take your cup that you're offering, Scorpio, or vice versa, and have victory and or recognition and or engagement or marriage with you in this relationship? Though it might be wish fulfillment. 
but not completely because there's an undertone of not being the only woman and someone six of sword king of cups scorpio wants to move away from drama confusion trying to outdo the other person with words move away from a flight risk who is the knight of wands somebody who's in and out can't make up their mind about what they want yeah oh scorpio everybody okay so this is the fifth month of the year five is about change change is happening all around us change of the season change of how things look outside it's getting hotter it's getting brighter the sun is high in the sky it's uh, definitely here in the u.s uh it's just change and some of you are definitely contemplating that change um if not contemplating a lot of people are enacting the change and, and, and moving with it and moving toward it you have two fives here five of wands and five of cups Scorpio, um, I hope that everything turns out in the manner that you want it to turn out. Next month will be the sixth month. It will be um, you getting in control of things. Getting in control of all the change that took place this month. Spirit will help a bit too. Alright, so additional one card of advice for Scorpio. One card of advice for Scorpio. One card of advice for Scorpio. Some of you do not Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. New career. All right. So um, that's a beautiful thing. That's pretty self-explanatory. And we did have the Eight of Pentacles and then the Nine of Pentacles. Some of you are really working hard at this new career, on this new career, on um, perfecting your craft new career nice Scorpio so if this resonated with you or you like clarity on your situation with the people that you're dealing with in your life please request a personal reading I'll go over to my website um, information is below it should be here in the reading also um, the video recorded readings are on sale you'll see the difference in price from what's below in the description box to what's on the website take advantage of that um, the prices are uh, discounted um, just to pull the energy for you you know even if you've never gotten a reading you can it, can it can be all fun it could be something that really um gives you a bit of clarity all right so Scorpio when in doubt pray if nothing else if you do nothing else pray um, I'm praying for you pray for me as well I'll see you guys in the mid monthlies take care